Welcome to our CAMX support video on setting a static IP address in the CAMX hub, also adding a secondary NIC card. Now, I'm logged in with a keyboard connected to a USB port on the CAMX. I have an HDMI output going to a monitor, and that's what you're looking at right now. Now, you need to have the CAMX running for a two to three minutes to make sure it's gone through a boot up process, and then you're going to see information that looks like this where down at the bottom it says Google is reachable and this information is going to repeat every so often and it's just letting you know that the CAMAC hub is able to get out and it can see home.camac.com. I'm going to do a control alt F9 from my keyboard. Now this is the keyboard that you have connected to your CAMAC hub through the USB port. This is not the keyboard on your laptop that you are using to access home.camac.com. This has to be done locally and you have to view the output from an HDMI cable connected to a monitor. I'm going to choose option 4. Now notice some of the abbreviations here or the, uh, the codes for quit, review, save changes, um, and then see current installed configuration. If you ever need to review those, um, those might be important to know. Even take a picture of them just so you remember what they are. Now, notice up above it has a zero and a one. Zero is our local internet connection that is on the hub itself. One is the one that I added, and it's a plug-in NIC card. So I've got two network connections now, and I want to show how to configure you know, basically we're configuring the secondary NIC card, but by default, we have to also go through and re-verify our settings for the primary. I'm gonna start off and go through my primary settings. Okay, it says, do I wanna wait five minutes uh, for the primary interface to get a connection? I'm gonna say yes to that. Okay, then it says, all right, that primary connection, is it gonna use DHCP? If I was going to make this static, I would say no. And I will show you in the secondary NIC card what it looks like to do a static setting. In this case, I want to leave it just the same. So I'm going to say yes. Also, this is the uh, DNS server. These are Google's DNS, 8.8.8.8, 8.8.4.4, and then we have 4.2.2.2. I'm going to just keep those. Okay? It says, are those okay? Yes. All right. So that's it. I went through and all I did in this case is I just verified the same settings that were there. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like for setting up the NIC card, which is my secondary one I have plugged into a USB port. I'm going to now choose one. And here it says, do I want to wait five minutes? That's okay. Okay. Do I want it to be DHCP or do I want it to be static? You know what? Let's say I need it to be static. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to type in an N. All right. The DNS, this is fine. I'm going to just keep it unless you had a specific um, DNS address that you needed to put in. This is a public one that is uh, it's always going to work to verify that it can connect. I'm going to say, yeah, that that's OK. Then I need to enter the IP address. This is going to be something where maybe my secondary NIC card is going to be plugged in to an, an NVR and I want to pick up um, cameras that are on an isolated network. Let's say that network is 10.0.1.1. Um, you know what? I'm going to make it 5. Hit enter, it's asking me, is that correct? Yes, okay. The gateway is 10.0.1.1. So the difference is this actual network card has its own IP address, it's a static address. I've determined that the, the gateway, which is really the NVR in this case, um, it has not given out an address for uh, 1.5 and I already have a DHCP set up outside that range on my NVR. So five is not gonna conflict with anything. I'm verifying this is my gateway. And 
and then it says do you want to use that as your gateway yes okay then you need to uh, change the subnet mask this is only if your IP ranges are going to go outside of you know the sort of the standard 10.10 .10 or 192.168 if you're generating an IP address way outside that range then you need to look at adjusting your subnet mask I'm not going to go into that here okay and that's okay all right now that I'm done I can go ahead and say I just want to save changes. It says I must reboot. And now it's going to go ahead and reboot. And that's it.